All right. For the next problem in our factoring series, we're going to do a problem factoring by grouping. Now, this works on a very select set of x to the thirds, and as we'll see with the AC method, it works when you decompose a x squared term just right. Well, how do we know that we can proceed with factoring by grouping? We have to check for common ratios. Here the ratio is 2 to negative 8, which is actually 1 to negative 4. This is negative 5 to 20, which is, when we reduce it, 1 to negative 4. Since it has the same ratio of terms between the first two and the last two terms, we know that it can be factored by grouping. So now imagine that these two terms don't exist. Consider these terms. Well, they have a common 2 and a common x squared. So I write 2x squared. What did I leave behind? An x minus 4. Now similarly, we're going to do the same with this. We need to preserve the sign. It's always the same sign as this middle term. If we don't, then the two binomials won't match up. Now we factor out a common 5, so negative 5 actually. Negative 5 from negative 5x gives us x. Negative 5 from 20 gives us a positive, or negative 4, excuse me. And we're ready to go with the next step. Now, when we do the simple factoring problem, we identified the common factor that is the least common factor. Here, that is x minus 4. We wrote it out in front, and then we wrote what each term divided by that least common factor was. So this term divided by x minus 4 is just 2x squared. This term divided by x minus 4 is negative 5. Now, we can check x minus 4, being a binomial of lowest degree, is prime. 2x squared minus 5, neither of those are perfect squares, so it's prime as well. Both these factors being prime, we are done.